the SLR Magic 8mm F4 super wide angle lens for micro four thirds. Let's talk about it. Hey, thanks for joining me. When I first started shopping for a super wide angle lens for my uh, Olympus Micro Four Thirds cameras, I uh, happened upon this SLR Magic 8mm F4. And most of the videos and reviews I found were about its usage for video or for drones. And there really wasn't much about still photography. So today I wanna to talk about it from the perspective of a still photographer and see how it stacks up um, in terms of image quality and value. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. So I've been using this lens for more than a year now and I have to say, I am just thrilled with this performance, especially at the price I was able to get it at. When I bought this lens, you could buy this for $149.99 online. And, and actually I looked last night and you can still get it at that price. There's a couple of retailers that still have it for the same price. And so it's really a bargain for that kind of money. Now, let's look at some of the features. Pretty light lens, it's only 3.9 ounces. It focuses very close down to a tenth of a meter. Maximum aperture is f4. Now, it has, and you can see here, a focus lever and a focus lock screw. And I, originally I thought, well, those are kind of weird. I'll probably just take those off, but I found them quite useful. I will lock this lens between one meter and infinity and then just go out and take pictures with it and don't even really worry about focusing. It's got so much depth of field. If I wanna shoot something where the subject is very close, then I'll use the focus aids in the camera, such as focus peaking or the magnifier to critically focus. Um, but other than that, I just, I tend to just zone focus this and it does a great job. Now, like I said, it's a maximum aperture of F4. Um, not super fast but it's acceptably fast and i have found that you get your best image quality between f5 6 and f8 i think after f8 diffraction limiting probably starts to set in and uh, reduce the image quality i have shot it at f11 and gotten good pictures i've shot it at f4 and gotten good pictures so um it's it's quite usable in that range but i think five between five six and eight is where you get your best performance now the lens comes with a filter adapter if you take this off, you'll see that the front elements actually protrude from the front of the lens. So to protect it, I leave this adapter on. I kind of use it like it's a lens hood. It comes with a filter also, like a clear UV filter. And it probably does not have any vignetting issues if you're shooting video with it. But if you're shooting stills, this filter will vignette very slightly at the corners. So, and the, lens cap actually fits the filter so I just basically unscrew the lens cap with the filter and and I don't use the filter if you like using filters I believe this is 52 millimeter you might need to use a step up ring and go to a 58 or something or 55 to make sure you're not having vignetting issues um, but I don't really use filters much on my digital cameras so that's just not an issue the image quality like I said I get from this has been wonderful I love the, the color rendition that it provides Flare is very well controlled in this lens. If you point it straight at the sun, you can get some artifacts, but other than that, it controls flare just really, really well. So the performance of this lens has been way more than I expected for the price. Um, you know, at $150, I think it's really just kind of a steal. It's kind of hard to beat. So let's take a look at some of the images I have. You can see what you think and um, We'll talk about those on the other side.
So I think you'll agree the image quality from this little lens is quite good. Uh, I've really enjoyed using it. Um, it was such a bargain for the price. You know, I've thought from time to time of maybe about upgrading to something better, but I, when I look at my images, I just can't find a compelling reason to do it. So if you're looking for a super wide angle lens for your micro four thirds camera and trying to do that maybe on a bit of a budget, definitely might want to give one of these a try. It's, it's for the price, especially, it's just a fantastic lens. And, um, I've really had a lot of fun using it. It's, if you've never used a super wide angle lens before, they are just really fun to use. You can get some really creative effects and um, there's just nothing like it. So thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If uh, you have any thoughts or questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and share on the channel to help it grow. And as always, thanks for watching.